The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Why do you make use of the saying about the land of Israel? The fathers have been tasting bitter grapes and the children's teeth are on edge. By my life, says the Lord, you will no longer have this saying in Israel. See, all souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, so the soul of the Son is mine. Death will be the fate of the sinner's soul. But if a man is upright, living rightly and doing righteousness, and has not taken flesh with the blood for food, or given worship to the images of the children of Israel, if he has not had connection with his neighbor's wife, or come near to a woman at the time when she is unclean, and has done no wrong to any, but has given back to the debtor what is his, and has taken no one's goods by force, and has given food to him who was in need of it, and clothing to him who was without it, and has not given his money out at interest or taken great profits, and, turning his hand from evil doing, has kept faith between men and man, and has been guided by my rules and has kept my laws and done them, he is upright, life will certainly be his, says the Lord. If he has a son who is a thief, a taker of life, who does any of these things, who has taken flesh with the blood as food, and has had connection with his neighbor's wife, has done wrong to the poor and to him who is in need, and taken property by force, and has not given back to one in his debt what is his, and has given worship to images and has done disgusting things, and has given out his money at interest and taken great profits, he will certainly not go on living, he has done all these disgusting things, death will certainly be his fate. His blood will be on him. Now if he has a son who sees all his father's sins which he has done, and in fear does not do the same, who has not taken the flesh with the blood for food, or given worship to the images of the children of Israel, and has not had connection with his neighbor's wife, or done wrong to any, or taken anything from one in his debt, or taken goods by force, but has given food to him who was in need of it, and clothing to him who was without it, who has kept his hand from evil doing and has not taken interest or great profits, who has done my orders and been guided by my rules, he will certainly not be put to death for the evil doing of his father. Life will certainly be his, as for his father, because he was cruel, took goods by force, and did what is not good among his people, truly, death will overtake him in his evil doing. But you say, why does not the son undergo punishment for the evil doing of the father? When the son has done what is ordered and right, and has kept my rules and done them, life will certainly be his. The soul which does sin will be put to death, the son will not be made responsible for the evil doing of the father, or the father for the evil doing of the son. The righteousness of the upright will be on himself, and the evil doing of the evil doer on himself. But if the evil doer, turning away from all the sins which he has done, keeps my rules and does what is ordered and right, life will certainly be his, death will not be his fate. Not one of the sins which he has done will be kept in memory against him. In the righteousness which he has done he will have life. Have I any pleasure in the death of the evil doer? Says the Lord. Am I not pleased if he is turned from his way so that he may have life? But when the upright man, turning away from his righteousness, does evil, like all the disgusting things which the evil man does, will he have life? Not one of his upright acts will be kept in memory. In the wrong which he has done and in his sin death will overtake him. But you say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Give ear, now, O children of Israel. Is my way not equal, are not your ways unequal? When the upright man, turning away from his righteousness, does evil, death will overtake him. In the evil which he has done death will overtake him. Again, when the evil doer, turning away from the evil he has done, does what is ordered and right, he will have life for his soul. Because he had fear and was turned away from all the wrong which he had done, life will certainly be his, death will not be his fate. But still the children of Israel say, the way of the Lord is not equal. O children of Israel, are my ways not equal, are not your ways unequal? For this cause I will be your judge, O children of Israel, judging every man by his ways, says the Lord. Come back and be turned from all your sins, so that they may not be the cause of your falling into evil. Put away all your evil doing in which you have done sin, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why are you desiring death, O children of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him on whom death comes, says the Lord. Be turned back then, and have life.